Welcome, everybody, to the Big East Power Sports Show Digital Edition. We're sorry we can't get together with you live and in person this year, so we're going to do it a little bit different this year during the COVID era. Um, really love getting together and seeing everybody at the shows. Um, but one of the other things that I really enjoy about the show is, is learning about new technology. And we have a gentleman who is uh, to the left of me over here who brought new technology to our Snowmobile show here about three, four years ago. He's Dave McCullough from ABOM. Dave, welcome. Thank you, John. Appreciate the invite. So, you know, I, I had talked about, uh, you know, the fact that we can't get together this year. Let's just briefly talk about that. You know, normally, you know, you and I would be sitting in an auditorium on one of these weekends, we'd be talking to other snowmobilers, we'd be, you know, learning stuff, catching all the excitement that goes on. Instead, I'm in my office, you're in your office. I guess backing up, what, why did you guys start coming to the Stoneville shows and, and what, what do you get out of it? Well, uh, historically speaking, uh, what we have developed for not only the snowmobile industry, but for the ski industry and the power sports industry, is it developed years ago. I was totally frustrated when I was out doing power sports or skiing and I would fog up and there was absolutely nothing you could do about it. Once you hit that right temperature, you cannot stop fogging. And so I approached an engineer and I said, is there any way to solve this problem? And I was thinking about, and I got the idea when I, after I was fogged up all day, I went back to my car and I pushed the rear window defroster. Right. And I go, wait a minute, I just got rid of all the fog. Is there not a way to take this technology and put it in goggles? Well, long story short, we did develop it. And uh, the technology is fairly elegant. We're the only ones who really have taken it all the way where you use uh, a thin film transparent heater between two polycarbonate lenses. You heat it up with some uh, lithium ion batteries that are in the frame and it really, really works. It's no different if you, if you want to see the physics, take a hair dryer to your bathroom mirror. If yeah. you heat it, you change the dew point and you eviscerate the fog. And that's where we came up with the idea. We started in 2011. Uh, we started selling in 2005 and then we realized not only do the skiers appreciate not fogging a much bigger and a much more at risk industry are the snowmobilers Absolutely. all snowmobilers fog i fog i can't get out of the parking lot without fogging you know snowmobiling so that was the impetus for starting the program having the product and we sold literally thousands of them you know across the united states you know, it's something that, that we personally have tried. Uh, you know, a couple of years ago, you sent us a set. My managing editor, Nick, he won't ride without him. Uh, he's always had trouble fogging, and, and he tried yours, and it was just like magic. You talked a little bit about the technology. Um, you know, snowmobilers are so used to, you know, in, in certain conditions, it, it just seems like there's nothing you can do uh, once you start sweating and once you start fogging, and it's trapping that moisture inside the goggle. It's, it's kind of some special technology that allows this to really happen. Yeah, I'll briefly just explain how it works. You look at the goggle and it looks like any other goggle, okay. But it's completely self-contained. And for the people in the snowmobile industry, they don't want a heat advisor that they have to plug in to the bike because they're tethered. They don't like to be tethered. So this is a completely standalone product. And the lithium ion batteries are here on the chassis itself, and they're rechargeable. All you have to do is plug in a micro USB port, plug it in for a couple of hours, and you've got a full day of charging here. And it's extremely simple to turn it on. You just hold this button down, and you get a little indicator light that comes on. Now, this indicator light is not a true intrusive. It doesn't bother you that it's there. But the nice thing is you'll have a charge all day and people have asked, how in the world were you able to develop a product that's completely self-contained and it'll heat all day? Well, the secret is in the software, as they say. Okay. But what we have inside the goggle is an auto humidity sensor. And what that does, you turn the goggle on, as you see here, in the first couple of minutes, it gets very warm on the inside of the lens. You can feel it with your fingers. And then if it doesn't sense any moisture after two or three minutes, it goes into a standby mode and it's not using very much power at all. And then what happens if you start to sweat, you start to create humidity, it automatically senses it and mm -hmm. then it heats the lens. That's how you can go all day. 
So for me, I just turn it on and I forget it for the whole day because right. I don't have to worry about it. And that's the genius of it is that uh, I know nobody, I know snowy ones don't want to be tethered. They'd like to have a simple solution like that. Yeah. But here, let me, as long as I got you, let me give you a yep. couple other features. Now, one of the things that's really nice about the Avon goggles is if you want to change lenses, that's all there is to it. You just snap it off and you snap it back in. Why that is simple. It, 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 you know, it, I had some old ski goggles. I think they were Oakley crowbars, and this was 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. You never even considered changing lenses because yeah. you couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah. It just it wouldn't work. But this is pretty elegant. Now here's another. Now what you have here is a dual pane window. You can actually put your fingers on there. You can't see it there, but you have some space. Sure. And the way we did it, on the other side of this inside lens is a coating of idium 10 oxide. It looks, if you saw it in a lab, it looks like saran wrap, but it okay. conducts electricity. So we conduct electricity across it and it evenly heats the, the surface. All right. another, another feature about this, that sometimes we forget, well, what if it gets wet and I have to wipe it out? Am I gonna scratch it? No, right. here's the magic. There are no anti-fog coatings on the lens itself. This is a pure, pristine, scratch-resistant polycarbonate lens. So you can take a t-shirt or whatever you want right. and just wipe it off. And you just don't have to worry. I know what everybody does in the snowmobile business. They have five goggles and a heater bag next yep. to the manifold in their engine. And they just live with the problem. And it goes on and on and on. If you bought the A-bomb, you wouldn't have a problem. Another feature that has been asked of us, and I'll digress for a second. The straps that hold the, the goggle together, they simply snap off of the, okay. goggle, the goggle frame itself. So, well, okay, that's nice, but so what? Well, the so what is, you guys are gonna want a quick strap release. You can buy right. these online, you can buy them from us if you want, but you know, they're like four bucks for a set. Right. And you know, I put them up, this is my ski helmet that I use, but I do this, and you guys know how it works, you just, that's it, comes off. So the quick strap release is there as well. Uh, we've really tried to address a lot of the problems that, uh, that people have. Um, when we're at the shows, you know, we're sitting there at Big East, well, what's the warranty? And we had to struggle for the warranty. What's the warranty? He says, how about this? One year everything, except if you drive over it with your truck in the parking lot, <laughs> It's not covered. Right. But we're not here. What happens in you know a very low percentage of the time something might happen. Two things might happen to the goggle. You might get a broken seal in the lens. It's like a double pane window. Fine, send it in. We'll replace it. You might get another problem. It just won't charge. Don't worry about it. Just send it back, and we'll just give you another one. And that's for the first year. And uh, we haven't got a lot of returns. And yeah. And you don't have to take my word for it. You can go online. There's lots of reviews about a bomb. We've been around a number of years. We've sold thousands of the things, and people are generally very, very pleased with it. Now, another thing that when we talk to companies like your guys, um, the reason that some people come to Snowville shows is they get to interact with consumers and find out more about our market and, and how their product could better be adapted. Do you end up getting a lot of feedback from consumers that, that that you're building into the goggle as this thing continues to evolve and, and become a you know a product that's really tailor-made for snowmobilers well if, yes yes um, snowmobilers are not shy about telling you what you need to do uh, we, we, we love about it, man. <laughs> no, it's yeah and there's there's new enhancements that'll be you know engineering takes about a year to make some changes but you know sure. there are some enhancements that are on the drawing board for us uh you know a little bit longer battery life but, those kind of things that people talk about. But uh, generally speaking, the, as you said about the person you just mentioned, says they won't ride with anything but this. Yeah. And you know, there's other solutions out in the marketplace, but they, they have a, a fairly large external battery and people aren't real pleased with that. They, maybe it probably works fine, but you know, some people just really like the more elegant solution where you know, there's no battery. You can't figure out what the batteries are. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's what I what I like about them. The, the look is so finished and you don't have a big knob on the side. You don't have a cord dangling out of it while you're riding it. It looks like a very high quality goggle. And I, I know you've got multiple colors and stuff for your lenses as well. We do. We offer about 10 different colors. Um, we have a new lens coming out this year. It's the, uh, it's the sonar lens and it's uh, pretty nice. Uh, it uh, it really knocks out a lot of the blue light, so you don't get a lot of glare. I, I do <laughs> I do love it when some people ask, do you have polarized lenses? No, we just don't go fishing with our goggles, so we don't have polarized lenses. But uh, other than that, I think we've been very well accepted in the industry. And you know, the other thing is, you know, as you look at, you know, we're also looking at the military. If you went on our website at abom.com, you can also see our military offerings. We're uh, we're on the authorized protective eyewear list for the military because we offer, don't know if the snowmobilers want it, but if you want a ballistic rated lens, call us. <laughs> we'll sell you a ballistic yeah. rated lens. And I thought about that for a while. I thought, you yeah, know, that'd be pretty cool. You're going around, you hit a tree branch at 40 miles an hour and the lens doesn't break. That'd be nice. So yeah, lots of different things we can do for people. But for the power, with the power sports people, think about this, the risk of getting hurt when you're snowmobiling is so much higher because when you're skiing, you can just stop. Right. You know, you just, you know, go down and get a cookie and a Coke and wait till it, it passes. But in snowmobiling, sometimes you're going very fast and sometimes you come up upon things you don't want to stop. And yeah. you get stuck in a tree well, or you're digging yourself out. You work extremely hard when you're snowmobiling. It's a lot of exertion, so you're going to. The other thing is, fire. yeah, with with the you know increase in popularity of backcountry riding, you know, it, it's not legal everywhere. Certainly, you know, we encourage re readers to only you know backcountry ride where it's legal, but it is a lot of fun to go out and explore where you can and go out and do some backcountry boondocking. And a, that usually works up the sweat, which fogs up your goggles, and b, that is where you're most likely to come across a branch that's going to hit you right. Uh, right below your peak and hit you right across the goggles. So there's, I, I definitely see that application for, for safety in the goggles as well as, as sight. Yeah, two years ago, I had, the, I had the opportunity to go up to Yellowstone and go through scenic safaris out of Jackson Hole. And nice. They, they all use the A-bomb and we were just out there having a ball. But uh, they all, everybody admitted, yeah, everybody fogs. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, a, it's a universal problem for the snowmobiler. So I know, um, you know, again, we can't be at the shows this year and we're missing out on that deal, but I know you guys are ex extending a show special like you were at the shows. Tell, uh, tell our viewers what, uh, what, what their deal is if they uh, act soon. Uh, I think you're going to publish it too, but if you yep. go on the website and uh, it's called, it's all caps, Big East 2020, put that in the coupon and that'll get you 10% off uh, for the next, you know, till the end of October. Kind of okay. kind of coincide with the Big East Power Sports Show. Perfect. So, so you know, instead of walking up to his booth and talking to him, you can get the deal right over the internet. So uh, you can do it that way as well. Give us your website real quick. Okay, it's www.abom.com. Okay. We want to thank you, Dave, for joining us today. We're, uh, we're like I said, uh, you've already got uh, one guy on my staff extremely com com uh, committed to, uh, or converted, I was trying to say, to your product. So we're, uh, we, we know it works, and we're uh, looking forward to helping you build that business. Well, we certainly look forward to seeing you next year. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be there, man. We'll be there. Thank you, John. All right. Take, take care. care. Bye. Bye.